Hey guys, back again. Um, so I know yesterday I said tonight I was going to talk about the party a little more that I went to on Saturday night. And I am going to talk about that um, in response to weight loss and how I feel and how I felt about myself during that time. But before I do that, I just want to put a little disclaimer up here before I actually start talking about it. Um, a lot of the things on my vlogs and things I talk about to be honest to you guys and to give you a real insight to my my life with weight loss and dieting and how it's affecting me and things like that. In no way when I talk about um, emotional things or break down or, or say horrible things about myself, in no way am I asking for a boost in my ego from you guys. Um, I appreciate the nice comments, but just keep in mind that I'm not making these videos to have people send me messages saying, oh, you're doing like, you look great and all this sort of thing. Like, I'm not fishing for compliments. It's not the type of person I am. I'm very hard on myself and I am very strict and I don't hate myself. I do not hate myself at all, but I um, am not, I'm, I'm humble. I like to think I'm humble and I don't go fishing for compliments or expect compliments from people. So um, just keep that in mind when you're watching this video and um, of course you are more than welcome to comment on this video, I don't mind at all. But um, yeah, if you watch this and you think negatively about me and think that I am just looking for someone to tell me that I'm beautiful or that I look really good, it's not the case at all because I don't believe that um, at all. I just want to share this experience with you. So anyway, on to the discussion. Um, so. Like I said, on Saturday night I went to a party and it was a um, a murder mystery party, a role playing party, and it's the first one I've ever been to and I was really excited because I actually literary role play online. That's the website that I had before that closed down and it gave me a whole heap of strife. I have been literary role playing for the last three or four years. I started off with Twilight and I did that for two to three years and then I went on to the Hunger Games and that's when I sort of lost my oomph. But um, I really like role playing and things like that. I'm such a nerd, but oh well, it happens. Um, I have, don't have these glasses for nothing, right? <laughs> anyway, so um, I was excited to go to this party. It was about it's about four hours train ride, three hours train ride when you sort of look into it from my home to my friend's house. Um, my friend wasn't actually organizing it. It was his birthday party, but someone else was organizing it, and. The closer it got to the birthday, the less I wanted to go. I just didn't feel up to it. I was tired and lethargic and I just wanted to stay at home and eat my good food and diet and exercise. Like diet and exercise is the biggest part of my life at the moment. And if I don't have that, I go insane. I, I can't handle change in that department. I need it. Um, like I said, I tried as hard as I could to bring in fruit and vegetables and things like that to the actual party and it was a success. But today I want to talk about the mental and physical feelings I went through at this party. Now, the party was set in, I don't know what era, but I think it was, oh, I couldn't even tell you, but it was in France um, and it's a couple of decades ago. And so um, it's a really high class casino, rah, rah. Everyone got assigned a role, a character, and so basically I got assigned a character that was basically a card dealer at the casino. Great. It's a male role. The name is Chris, but apparently it's like it could be either gender, but I didn't buy that for a second because every other like multi uh, multi gender multi gender sorry ugh, English fails me multi gender role was assigned for male because they had predominantly male names, but I got stuck with Chris. Anyway, so we had to come up with a costume. Well, what can you do for a costume for a high class casino card dealer? White shirt and black pants. Great. So I show up to the party dressed up in this with a high ponytail and I don't feel pretty at all. I put on a little bit of makeup, but I don't feel nice. Every other girl, every other girl at that party is wearing a really nice pretty dress. They were all dressed up with their pearls and the necklaces and their makeup and the high heels and they look so beautiful and I'm stuck in a stupid black and white penguin suit. I look like an idiot. And it just, it really got me down. It really upset me because 
I like to feel beautiful. I like to look beautiful. I really take pride in how I look most of the time, except for YouTube, I couldn't care less. But, and, and Japan at the moment, I, I couldn't care less. But when I'm around my foreign friends and I'm doing foreign activities, excuse me, I like to look pretty. I like to look nice. I like to look presentable. I am very much into fashion. Like I think I've said on this channel before, I wanted to be a fashion designer for a while, um, probably last 10 years. I just haven't because it's a very expensive business to get into but I have to basically when I'm back home and can actually buy clothes I buy something new every day every day every week sorry every week and I just like to dress up and look pretty and here I am stuck in this stupid boys car dealer outfit and all these girls are dressed up in looking pretty and they're all stick thin they're all minor thin and I thought I had lost weight and I thought I was looking really good. Like, I've almost lost 10 kilos. That's huge for me. Um, but it just got me really down. It just made me think, well, have I really lost any weight at all? Only one person noticed, and that person was one of my closest friends. And she noticed, and she said, I look good. But that was all that was said. Like, half the people I didn't know, so understandably they had no idea that I'd lost weight. But it just, it got me down so much. It got me so depressed and I just felt ugly and gross and I just, I didn't want to play the game. I, I got, I was really tired and, and stuff to start off with. And then the fact that I felt ugly and didn't know these people. And like, I think I said last night, get me in a room full of people that I don't know. And I just, I yeah, get in my little shell and stay there. If I am in a room with a lot of people that I know, then I am one of the most outgoing people in the room. But around new people, I just, I cringe, I can't handle it. And so Saturday night was a really bad night for me, really bad. I could have easily gone to the food table and sat at the food table and eaten all the bad food that was there. Luckily, it was my fruit and veg that was there, but I, I didn't resort to eating at all. Um, I didn't resort to drinking, I didn't resort to anything. And I think that's an achievement in itself, but I just want to know, like, with all this weight loss that I'm doing, am I ever going to actually feel beautiful? When is that point going to be when I actually start seeing myself as beautiful and pretty and looking nice and being able to wear those nice dresses and looking pretty and looking good? Like, I definitely have those days now every once in a while, like one day in a month or something, but I want to feel that every day. I want to wake up feeling good and happy and I definitely feel healthy now, but I want to feel all these things and more. I want to love myself and I want to, I don't know, it's just hard. I just, I'm getting impatient, <laughs> really impatient. Um, I don't know. I, I suppose there's no answer to that question. It's just, it'll happen when it happens or if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And I'm just gonna have to be unhappy for the rest of my life. I don't know. But yeah, it's just pain. And when I think about it and I go back and look back at the rest of my life, I have always felt that way, being around skinny people and having them dress up. Like, sure, I in other situations, I've dressed up and looked just as nice, but they're still thinner than me, and they're always going to be thinner than me, no matter how much weight I lose. I'm just a bigger person all around. If I can get down to 70 kilos, I'm still not going to look like my other friends who are 70 kilos. It's just the way I am. Um, I just don't know. Sorry, this is a really depressing vlog. I'm really sorry, but I just had to get out there and talk about it because I sort of talked to my friend Adam about it on the way home. He's had um, a virus or what is it? A parasite or something. He's had stomach parasites or something and he's on a health kick, but he's rake thin <laughs> and he's a guy and just no offense guys that watch this channel I love you all but I just yeah I don't know I don't know so annoying I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah I just needed to talk about it and get it off my chest and yeah anyway no gym today because I had to go to the center to get scheduled so I'm a bit peeved off about that but I got all my schedules for the week, so that means I can go to the gym Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. 
and I'm excited to see if I lose any weight this week. Really excited. I sort of looked in the mirror today and noticed that my stomach looked a little a smidgen bit thinner. Like, not much at all, but it just looked a little thinner. Um, yeah, I just want it gone. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't lose weight quickly. I wish I could be like you other guys and lose like 20 pounds in like two weeks. It's taken me five months. <sighs> My depressing life. But, but, I'm not going to give up. I refuse to. There is no way this weight loss thing is going to get the better of me this time around. Like I said, I've done it for 10 years and enough is enough. If I can't feel good about myself ever, then I might as well look a little bit better and not be this fat blob in the middle of your YouTube screen. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and cook dinner and have a shower and actually watch a movie that I downloaded illegally. Um, but yeah, thank you for your comments on today's video. It was really nice. I, um, I appreciate seeing them, even though I only get like three or four messages on a video. I really love them. And some of them really warm my heart and um, really make me happy when I come home in the afternoon and I'm bugging and I just like to see your messages. So thank you so much. I love you all so much. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself when I watch these back one day. But anyway, I love you all. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I will do another vlog. I always start off good at the beginning of the week and then I like fail so I'm really going to try I promise I promise promise but I love you heaps have a good night love you all bye bye